Hey folks, it is Kevin here on the DJ Langford channel, and I have uh, a question I'm going to answer. This. So this is a question that was sent to me on my my uh, back to my Facebook page. So links below to my Facebook if you want to interact with me. I'm really good at interacting. With, well, on my Facebook page, I'm very good at interacting. Um, so I was asked by Daniel um, if you can make a good living as an English teacher, or if you can make a living good enough to support a family on a, on a teacher's salary here in Japan. And um, I suppose we can look at a few factors for, for that, first of all. Um, yes, you can support a, a family on a teacher's salary, depending on what job you have. Um, is it a good living? Like a really good, comfortable living? I... Yes and no, I suppose. It all depends on the kind of lifestyle you need. Um, okay, so my situation, my family, uh, we are a one-income family. Um, I have, my wife is a stay-at-home mom. We have a two and a half, well, he's almost two and a half years old. And my wife is pregnant with another child, so she's unable to work. And we've been living for now more than three years just on my income. Now, the thing is, the income of teachers in Japan can vary greatly. If you look at job ads, if you go to a webpage like gaijinpot.com, and you look at job ads, they could vary from, the salary might vary from something like 200,000 yen a month to 350,000. Uh, some jobs even more. I've seen, I've seen some jobs, uh, a couple come up this year that offered almost 400,000 a month, which is, that's a comfortable living. Um, now, if you go and you get a job with like an ALT dispatch company, you may be only making 200,000 a month. You might have vacations, so, like summer break or winter break, where you don't get paid. So my job is pretty good. Um, I think I make a little bit more than average teachers make, but not a lot more. Um, but at the same time, to have a, a fairly comfortable lifestyle, um, I also supplement my income. And a lot of people do this. Um, a lot of people might teach private lessons uh, on weekends or after work at, on evenings. Uh, I don't do that, but I do teach on Saturdays, um, and there are a few, again, if you're coming to Japan looking for a job, you, when you look through um, the job ads and different websites, you'll find that there are a lot of part-time teaching positions. <clears throat> so a lot of schools hire people just to teach Saturday schools, or teach winter camps, or summer camps, so I teach, I teach on Saturdays, and that's hard. I mean, I work a lot of times, I work six days a week, and it's not easy, but I mean, if I didn't work those Saturday schools, there's a lot of things we probably wouldn't be able to do. We'd probably wouldn't be able to go for, for lunch on weekends. We'd be able to go for dinner sometimes. We'd build up just certain things we wouldn't build, little creature comforts we wouldn't have. Um, you know, I suppose also, too, this, what I'm doing here, YouTube, also generates some spending money for me. Uh, um, you know, because I've been doing this long enough that I have a large catalog, so to speak, of back videos that people watch, literally thousands. Um, so that generates... Uh, a small income for me, which makes life better. And um, yeah, so um, can you support a family? Yes, absolutely you can. There's a lot of people who live in Japan with families who work as uh, teachers and, and do it. Now, um, you know, I don't know how long you'll be in Japan. Um, I'm, I'm a, you know, I'm, I've got plans on applying for certain jobs in Canada over the next few years that are non-teaching related and I could be back in Canada with my family within the next few years. But if I am here longer, um, my wife does plan on going back to work, just simply because once our children get old enough to have to go to kindergarten and um, they've got school fees, we'll, you know, just, it'll make, more, it'll make sense um, to, to, uh, to have more income. And also, I mean, if, you know, but I'm comfortable. I mean, I live, I, you know, I, I've got spending money, I've got money to buy beer when I want beer. Um, I've got, you know, nice computers, and I've got the, the, the things I need to, to enjoy life. Um, you know, I don't walk around wearing old hole, like clothes with holes in it and stuff like that. But there's maybe a lifestyle change for you. Um, if, if you both, you and your spouse work wherever you live now. Um, for example, you know, my wife and I, we can't afford to travel like we used to when we had no children and had two incomes. You know, we don't have the luxury of having that all the disposable income that we once did. So we've had to change our lifestyle a bit, but uh, you know, I'm used to it, I'm comfortable. 
you know, I, you know, everyone who, who watches my videos knows I'm a fan of beer. But here's the thing, I'm a fan of beer, but I don't go to bars. So I don't go, I don't go to bars drinking. Um, I don't go to clubs. I've actually never been in a club, a night, like, a, like a, actually like nightclub in Japan. Um, but, I, I, you know, I used to go to bars sometimes, but I don't go now. Um, so I get beer at the supermarket and drink it at home. Um, or, you know, hang out with my friends in a park on the weekend like a bunch of winos. <laughs> Yeah, so it's it's doable, guys. It's doable. Um, what would I say? I think when I looked, my salary. I think the average salary of a teacher is about two hundred and fifty thousand a month. Um, <clears throat> and I think that's that probably kind of rounds out to be like about forty thousand dollars U.S. a year, maybe a bit more. But also, too, if you are a family, you're going to be supporting a family, you are going to need Shakai Hoken, which is the government national health insurance um, and pension plan. And that's going to cover your family's medical insurance, too. So if your wife needs to go to the hospital, your kids need to go to the hospital, um, that Shakai Hoken will pay for that. And if, if you, that's, that's pretty expensive. That's, that's about 500 bucks a month right there. And if you're paying for that health insurance. Um, but you got to do it. All right, so, uh, Daniel, I hope that helped answer your question. And it's about lifestyle choices, too. Also, you know, you think you find a, a good an apartment to rent. You find, you know, if you want to live downtown in a city that, where the action is, you're going to pay a lot more money than if you lived uh, in a quieter neighborhood further away from downtown. So, you know, um, you go shopping, you buy your furniture when you first move in a place like Mitori or Ikea. You know, it's not so expensive. So, I mean, there's a lot of lifestyle choices, what you want, where you want to live. And then it also depends on what kind of job you get. And then, you know, if you're willing to work on weekends, or if you're willing to work uh, part-time jobs or teach private lessons, then you can make your lifestyle more comfortable. All right, there you go, guys. Um, a very long-winded video, but, I mean, you know, I could probably talk for hours about this topic, um, is can you have a comfortable living or can you support a family on a teacher's income? Well, I've been doing it for three years now, so a little more. So it's, it's doable. It's doable. All right, guys, take care. Um, click the links below. Remember to like the video and also go to my Facebook page. Links below. Go click on it, like it, and get involved because I'm very active in, on, on my little Facebook community. All right, guys, take care. So I've got the Facebook app, a Facebook page app here on my phone, and I use it a lot. So, see so ya. Yeah.